Hello everyone and welcome to the third episode of a retro day with Goji Games. Aladdin on the SNES was a game I didn't own, but whenever I went to my uncle's house, I would play it for hours. I still love the Super Nintendo version to this day, and I'm gonna look back at some of these moments. I played this game on an emulator, and at the time, I didn't have a compatible controller, so I used my keyboard instead. You can tell I was getting used to the controls as I would often slip, forget to jump, or sprint. It's a little hard for me to rewatch because I know I can do much better and I look like a beginner. At least the first boss fight went extremely well. I didn't get much better when recording part 2 as I was still making mistakes that were easily avoidable. There's one area where I tried to climb up but gave up before risking another death. Nonetheless, the levels in the second stage are a bit more fun than the ones in the first stage. The second level in the third stage was when the game started becoming difficult for me as a kid. I remember asking my cousin to beat it for me so I could move on to the next stage, but nowadays, I can do it myself. Stage 4 probably has the catchiest track in the game and it's also the most memorable to me. It may not seem like it in the video, but I really enjoyed the levels in the fourth stage, and I prefer them over the ones in stage 3. Stage 5 obviously wasn't based on a certain scene in the animated movie, but the levels are cool so I don't mind the artistic liberty. By the way, I can't believe I got the genie when playing the break time minigame. Ah yes, I remember the bonus stage very well. After some nice platforming and occasional frustrating moments, you get to just sit back, relax, and collect gems while listening to an instrumental version of a whole new world. I wish I could say I've improved from stage 1 to stage 6, but I just couldn't get used to the keyboard controls. The Jafar fight is pretty embarrassing, especially since it's a fun boss battle, but I was struggling while recording this let's play. The final boss fight on the other hand wasn't too bad. Overall, I don't think these videos lasted very well. If I was new to this game at the time, it could have been a little more forgiving, but because I played this game so much before recording these videos, I feel uncomfortable rewatching this gameplay. Thanks everybody for watching this episode of A Retro Day with Goji Games, and I'll see you in the next video!